Alright, so now to finish up this uh, piece, we're going to texture the rest of the pieces that are available in this video. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I need you to hit that subscribe button uh, if you are interested in my content, and also hit the like button, and let's get on the way. So, the next thing we're going to be doing is to, first off, let's take this piece over here, right? It already has its, its material, so we're going to hide that. And uh, the next thing we're going to be texturing is these pieces over here. So this one right here, I'm going to give this a plastic black. So a plastic black with a roughness of, of 0.2. And I'm going to hide that. Now let's take this one as well. I'm going to give this a plastic black as well. So plastic black, plastic black roughness of 0.2. And let's hide that. And I'm going to take this one. And I'm also going to give this a plastic black with a roughness of 0.2. So plastic black roughness 0.2 and hide that. Now this piece over here is just going to be a shaderless material. So I'm going to go down here and select the shaderless material we created and I'm going to hide that as well. Now this piece down here is also a plastic. So I'm going to select the plastic black 0.2. I want to take this piece inside it and take that one. Press Ctrl and L and select materials so they have the same materials. And I want to hide that as well. Now this piece over here as well is plastic. So again plastic black 0.2. And we're gonna hide that all right so the next thing is this one as well and as you can see the one I mean if you recall we actually applied a plastic to the one above so we're gonna give this the same plastic point two and we're gonna take this one and uh, of course that one and this one let me see uh, so we're gonna take this piece over here that is this one and then select that one press ctrl and L and select and select materials and let's hide this so I'm gonna give this a plastic black as well so plastic black point two, just like that, and I'm gonna hide that. Now let's take this one as well. Plastic black point two. I'm gonna hide that. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Plastic black point two. I'm gonna hide that and take this plastic black point two and hide that. All right. Now this piece over here as well also is a chrome material, but you can see it's black over here. But whichever you want to go with, this one is chrome, that one is black. Whichever you want to go, you can go with you can go with a black one or you can go with a chromey one. So I'm gonna go with the chrome, metallic chrome, uh, point one roughness of point one, yeah. And I'm gonna hide that. All right. So let's hide all the tire materials that we actually uh, have uh, these things on. So I'm just gonna hide them all, just like that. Come on every single one of them all right there we go so i'm going to take the chassis first that is this main chassis over here i'm going to select the metallic black uh let me see yeah so we're going to give this metallic black imperfect uh it's too glossy though so i'm going to click on the plus sign to make this a 0.002 i'm not going to change that i'm just going to increase the roughness to a 0.2 let's see how that looks and there we go so that was what i was going for but i'm going to make it a 0.3 instead so let's go with a 0.3 and nice all right, so this piece over here, let's just, this piece over here, I'm going to take this piece and uh, let me see. And I'm going to select this one, press Ctrl and L and then say materials. I think this one right here also has it. Select that and select this Ctrl L, say materials. And let's hide them. All right, so let's hide those pieces. I think this one as well is a metallic black. So metallic black 0 0.002 or imperfect 0 0.002, any way you want to go with. Now these pieces over here, let's see how we're going to work on this. So uh, we're going to go in here, let me see, I think this one we want to add in two materials. The first one is going to be a metallic black, the 0 .002, and the second one is going to be a metallic chrome, but we're going to make changes to this, alright? So we're going to go select the uh, 0 .01, and I want to change the name from metallic chrome to metallic, uh, let me see, yeah, so let me delete all of this, metallic, um, <coughs> sorry. Metallic, uh, I don't know. Let me just say metallic. What do I call it? Silver. I'm not sure. So metallic silver. All right. So we're gonna. This means we're gonna make this even more rough, and we're gonna increase the anisotropy on this to a full one. Let's increase the roughness to 8.4. I think that should do it. And there we go. <clears throat> so the ones that we're gonna assign this to is to select them. So I want to take all of these ones over here and uh, assign the silver to it and we're going to take uh, all of these ones as well assign it to it and uh this one as well and let's assign it to it i want to keep the rest like that except for this one we're going to assign it to it as well and there we go so that is how i'm going to keep it and i'm going to hide this now let's move on to this we're going to give this the metallic 
uh, where is it? Metallic silver, like that. And I'm gonna assign the same material to this. So just select this, select that, press Ctrl and L, and then materials. All right, now I'm gonna hide this. That should hide them all. Let's take this piece over here. We're gonna add in two or three materials, I think. So the first one is gonna be the metallic black. Is it metallic? Yeah, metallic black. Uh, yeah, what? Do you, which one did we use? Yeah, point zero zero two. And I want to change this to metallic silver, and then this one to a plastic black. So plastic black. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There it is. So with a roughness of point five. Now let's go into edit mode and assign this to the specific pieces. So this piece right here. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna give this a metallic silver a prism. Yeah. And I'm gonna give these two pieces. This one, and then. Okay, maybe that's no. This one and then that one. I'm gonna give this a plastic black, just like that. And I think that should pretty much do it. I'm sure. Now I'm gonna hide this and let's take this one as well. So the same materials. So what I'm gonna do is let me bring back that piece, the piece that I just hid. I'm gonna bring it back. I think this will be much quicker than to add them in one by one. So I'm just gonna bring that piece back. I'm gonna take this, take that one, press Ctrl and L, and then same materials. And now we can hide we can hide this. Now let's take this one. Let's go into edit mode. I'm gonna take this piece over here. I wanna take this piece. I wanna assign the plastic black to it. Just like that. And that's it. Now I'm gonna take this one as well. I'm gonna take that one, press Ctrl and L, and then same materials. And then I'm gonna go in here. I think. I want to keep it black. I don't need to do anything to this. Let me take a look in cycles. Yeah, I'm going to keep it black. Unless maybe we want to make the drive shaft uh, maybe silver. But you can do that if you want to. Now let's take this piece over here. I'm going to give this a metallic silver. <clears throat> and that's it. Nothing more. We're going to hide that. Now I'm going to take this one. And I want to press Ctrl and L. And then same materials that adds it to it. I want to take this piece as well. And that piece, control and L, same materials. And there we go. Alright. So all I want to do is to hide those pieces. And I'm going to take this one as well. And then that one, press control and L, same materials. And uh, yeah, let's hide this. Now we're going to move on to this one. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to add in the same materials as this. Sorry about that. I'm going to take this, take that one. Make sure that one is the active element. Press control and L. And select materials like that. So we're going to go in here, sorry about that noise, sorry, now we're going to go into edit mode, and I'm going to take this piece over here, that is this one right here, this one is a plastic, alright, so I'm going to assign this to this as plastic, and I'm going to take the one below as well, I want to assign plastic to it, just like that, and uh, the piece up here, you can actually keep it black or you can make it silver, whichever you want, but I'm going to keep it silver, and that should pretty much do it for this piece, alright, so I'm going to hide that. Now I'm going to go in here. This is just a black. So I'm going to take this and then take that. Press Ctrl and L and then say materials. And that should pretty much do it for this piece. So I'm going to hide it. Now let's move on to this side. All right. This one right here. I'm going to give it a, uh, what do you call it? Three materials. The first one is going to be a metallic, uh, metallic, uh, what do you call it? Chrome. So I'm going to give it a metallic chrome 0.1. And I'm going to give it a metallic black imperfect. Metallic black 0 0.001, imperfect 0 0.001, and we're going to give it a plastic black as well. So plastic black one two, and or maybe no, we don't need a plastic black for this, just these two. Now let's go in here, all right? So I'm going to select this piece over here. That is the one on the edge. Let me just zoom into one area, right here. All right, so I'm going to select this piece over here. I'm going to select this ones as well. I'm going to press Control and Plus. Make sure all of these ones are selected, just like this. And uh, I think let me zoom in and see. Yeah, maybe I'll select these ones as well, all the way to the center here. Let me see, does that select it for us? Including the one in the center. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so what we're going to do is, with that one, we're going to assign a metallic black. Or No, that one, that is the one that has a metallic silver. So with those ones selected, we're going to press Ctrl and I. And then the rest, we're going to assign a metallic black to it, just like that. And I think that should look great. Now I'm going to take this one, and this is the one, sorry about the noise. This is the one we're going to apply the a metallic, uh, what do you call it, the plastic black point two two, Like that. And also I think this one, and then that, I'm going to select this, and then select that one, press Ctrl and L. And then materials, just to apply the plastic black to that one as well. And those pieces are done, so we're going to hide them, like that. Alright, so we only have a few more left, 
let me take a look at this piece all right so this piece is also black so we're gonna give it a metallic black point uh metallic black point two just like that and i'm gonna hide that all right so what i want to do is i want to hide this i'm gonna hide that and now we only have the exhaust pipe left that is the only object we have left right now so what i'm gonna do is this one also has uh, some layers of uh, materials so we're gonna add in two materials one is gonna be metallic chrome metallic chrome point one and yeah point one and the other one is going to be a metallic black metallic black point uh let me see metallic black point two like that now let's go into edit mode let's see where these uh materials are affected now these ones i don't think they have the exhaust pipe shown so um how are we going to do this let me change the image to one that has the exhaust pipe shown <clears throat> sorry no i think uh let me see yeah this one right here so let's take that piece come on there we go so you can see the tip is actually silver and then from the tip all the way down to the uh the frame over here it's just black so i'm going to take this one let's press the one in the center here and that one let's press ctrl and plus to have all of those pieces selected i won't select the one above you know i select that one so let's get over here and we're going to assign a metallic black to them all right just like that and uh let's move on to this side i think all of these ones as well are black first of all let me take all of this and take uh yeah all of that i want to assign a metallic black to it and then let me get over here come on press ctrl and plus until we get here let me take a look ctrl and plus again i want to assign a metallic black to this and let's get on over here as well so let me see let me hide this let me hide this and uh, I'm going to select everything else. No, let me bring it back. Uh, let me let me hide this one instead. And then let me select all of the others. Press Alt and H. And then we're going to assign the metallic black to it. Just like that. And there we go. So that's it. It's textured. That's the final piece. And I'm going to hide it. Now I'm going to press Alt and H to bring everything back. And our car is actually ready for rendering. That is pretty much it. So we can take a look in cycles just to see how it looks. And it should be looking great. Really, really good. And yeah. That was what I was going for. So in the next video, we're going to be rendering the whole piece. Uh, I'll be teaching you guys how you can uh, uh, render this in an HDRI or maybe in a studio. And uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me just minimize these two things a bit. Take a good look at the car. And as you can see, it's looking really good. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me just save this up real quick.